welcome to technology point in this video we are going to see about the distinct transformation okay I will or I have already logged in into the cloud lab uh, once to log in into the lab you need to type spark fn shell once you type that I'm going to create rdd for distinct rdd I'm not good on typing distinct rdd is equal to spark context dot parallelize I am going to create an array and I am going to pass some values inside that for example on this I will type java python Ruby, Perl, and I'm going to repeat this Java, Python, Ruby, and Perl again. Java, Python. Ruby and then Perl. You can type whatever the things that you required. I am typing in this case, I am typing the Java, the programming languages, and I am going to check both that. The distinct RDD is created now. Val dist is equal to distinct rdd dot distinct underscore dot contains double quotes j Sorry, in this we need to declare it as dot distinct. Once we apply the dot distinct transformation to the distinct RDD, we need to do dist dot collect. Once, sorry. Once you uh, to a uh, disk dot collect what it will does is that it will check for the distinct uh, that is like it will check the array inside the array you will have like elements like java python ruby Perl, and again it's repeating with the same it will check for the distinct uh, like you, if you have 10 java it will print the only one thing uh, in the resultant value uh, for example we have array of python and java perl and then ruby the distinct method is used to find only the unique values and used to print it only one time in the output result okay uh, we have like created a distinct rtt using the array with the array we have like created another rtt for dist for distinct transformation once we uh, have the dist dot collect we have provided it has provided with the result of uh, values with the distinct values that is available inside the array element okay i hope everyone enjoy this video uh, please do subscribe and comment to my youtube channel thank you thanks for watching